Action means total weather and news. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Jim Keithley. A New York man accused of using stolen credit card information to buy gift cards in southern Maine. 25-year-old Carl Jacques made his first court appearance Wednesday. He was arrested yesterday when he tried to buy $300 of gift cards with four separate transactions at the Hannaford in Sanford. Police say this could be part of a much bigger operation, most likely out of New York. A warning about another scam targeting Mainers. CMP says scammers are calling, telling customers to make an immediate payment over the phone using a prepaid debit card or they'll turn their service off. The caller ID often shows the call coming from the utility and in some cases the scammers give a callback number with the same recorded greeting as the utility's customer service line. A reminder from the Scarborough Fire Department, there's a drinking water dispensing site at the Dunstan Fire Station. It is free, accessible 24 hours a day. All you have to do is bring your own container for the water. Fire officials say they wanted to get the, the word out in light of the ongoing drought in southern Maine. A popular Portland landmark is no more. The graffiti wall at the asylum was demolished this week as part of the nightclub's $9.1 million expansion project. The expansion will allow for more seats and a larger capacity. Asylum's owners say a wall on the north side will still be open to artists. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Jim Keithley. Make sure you check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime, anywhere. Have a great evening.